Hi everybody, this is Bianca and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about machine learning, what it really is and how can you use it on a daily basis. Well, we all know that computer science is a very complex subject and it is actually known for its processes of interacting and showing data in forms of programs. As a computer scientist, you can develop new technologies for storing, gathering and manipulating data and computers are incredible at fetching data from millions of records. But what if you want to make computers take decisions about data? We all know that humans learn from past experiences, whilst machines follow instructions given by humans. And what if machines can be trained to learn by themselves from past data? Here is where machine learning comes into play. But what is it really all about? As humans become busier, machine learning is used for automation, for making daily tasks easier. Let's take an example. We all know that self-driving cars have been considered to be the future, allowing people to save time on the road by doing all the driving for us. So the question is, how have cars come so far in this almost a real technological field? It is all about perception. And what I mean by this is that cars have sensory input devices like cameras that allows the car to see and map the world around it. And he does that by using computer vision, that being a field of machine learning and AI. What it basically does is it performs object detection, which can be done through image localization and classification. Image classification is pretty intuitive as the machine determines what the objects in the image are, a person, another car, a fire hydrant, a bench, and so on whilst image localization is basically providing the location and proximity of these objects. To perform image classification, a convolutional neural network, or CNN, is trained to recognize various objects, like traffic lights and pedestrians. And if you don't know how CNN works, well, just like neural networks are made up of neurons with learnable weights and biases, each neuron receives several inputs, takes a weighted sum over them, passes it through an activation function, and responds with an output. There are a few differences, but the main one is that CNN operates over volumes. So basically, when a computer takes an image as an input, it will see an array of pixel values. Each of these numbers is given a value which describes the pixel intensity at that point. These numbers, while meaningless to us, when we perform image classification, are the only inputs available to the computer. The idea is that when you give the computer this array of numbers, it will output numbers that describe the probability of the image being a certain class. So all in all, a convolutional neural network performs convolution operations on images in order to classify them. So the next step is object detection which has to be made in real time in order to detect objects approaching quickly in order to avoid them. However, we also need a very accurate model, upwards of 99.9%, .9%, since any mistakes made can be disastrous and cost lives. So this is it for today. I hope you enjoyed this week's video and I'll see you in the next one.